you guys. It's sweater weather. You got the chunky sweater, you got the candles, you got the fireplace going, you got your door, get your feet, you're making a casserole, you're making something in the crock pot, you're baking something in the oven. It's my favorite time of year. It's sweater weather. Mm. Seriously guys, this is my favorite time of year. It's fall, going into winter. What can I say? I was born in North Dakota. I'm Norwegian. I'm a Nordic freak. I just really enjoy chilly, cozy times. So today's video is basically a roundup of a lot of favorites that I've been collecting over the last couple months. These are things that I'm constantly grabbing for almost every single day and I just feel like y'all need to know about it. Of course I would have liked to have started the video pouring my wine. It's boxed wine so it made it a little bit challenging. This is my favorite boxed wine point blank and if you can get it you need to run do not walk. This is Powers Cabernet Sauvignon from Washington State. It's 2015. You get four bottles in here and it's like $28. Obsessed. Also can we just talk about how boxed wine is a little bit dangerous because it's literally a faucet and the wine is a flown and you're not paying attention to how many glasses you've actually had. You've maybe had two bottles. I mean, I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but they say there's four bottles in there, but unless you're a person who considers this a full glass of wine, there's like three and a half bottles in that box. I recently did a collaboration with one of my absolute favorite channels, Better Off Red. She came to New York a few weeks ago and we got together and recorded this super fun video where we use the Friendication palette by Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie. We basically just get pretty toasty on Prosecco. We both do completely different eye makeup looks. It's so much fun. It's up on Sarah's channel. The reason I didn't post a video on my channel was because her footage turned out amazing. I went to look at my footage and it was terrible. So I had to scrap that, but please, please, please go to her channel and check it out and subscribe to her. It was so much fun and we absolutely will be doing another collaboration sometime in the future. So on the topic of sweater weather, I want to show you my all time favorite fall winter candle. Hold on, you're gonna love it. Guess what it's called? Sweater weather! Guys, this candle from Bath and Body Works, it's honestly like crack. The other night I had this candle going and I ordered some Chinese food and the delivery guy went out of his way to tell me how nice my apartment smelled. This candle is so succulent and sexy, I literally just want to like drink it. I don't know when they're having that amazing sale they have every year at Bath and Body Works where all the candles are like $8, but when they do, you need to like get 10 of these because this goes away after the winter. So I'm going to jump right in with skincare. So this product right here is called Lotion P50 1970. It's by Biologique Recherche, a bougie ass company that makes really high quality skincare. You may not have heard about this product. It's actually a little bit difficult to find because you have to buy it in store at spas. I'm telling you right now, this is used by like supermodels and actors. I think Julianne Moore uses this as well as Madonna. People whose careers depend on them constantly looking fabulous swear by this product. So I actually had to go to Rescue Spa's website just to explain this adequately. It describes it as a cult favorite. P50 is a magic potion that does it all. Exfoliates, hydrates, and balances the pH of the skin. It's a prep step before any skincare. It's basically a chemical exfoliant. It is very, very strong. You basically put it on a cotton round and you very gently pat it in upward motions on your face, making sure not to go over any place twice. It is an anti-aging step and I have been using it for about two months now and I am already seeing a difference. My main concern is the fact that I have bangs help, but I have four head wrinkles, thanks dad. I'm trying to make sure that they are the least pronounced they can be as I get older. My skin feels cleaner and clearer. I have less breakouts. I'm noticing that a couple of my sunspots are slowly but surely dissipating. With skincare, it takes a really long time to notice the effects of it and it's very gradual but I just love the way my skin looks. I feel like it's glowing after I use this. Also been considering doing just a skincare video for you guys with my updated routine. Basically what I'll do is I'll wash my face, let it dry, and then go over it with my P50. Let that dry for a second. You're gonna notice that your face is really red and it smells super clinical. I mean, it smells like you are about to go into surgery. I usually spritz my face with some sort of a face mist and then I will do a serum or oil or whatever I want and then I will put my moisturizer on top of that. Then I will spritz it again with some face mist and that is just like my nightly routine and I really am noticing how lovely my skin looks. Mm. 
something I've mentioned in another video, but I'm bringing it back around. So impressed with my new lash lash serum i've been using this for a little over two months now and i can honestly say my lashes are long if you looked at me today you might be like oh maybe she has eyelash extensions or she has some individual false lashes on nope that is my lashes. There are a lot of great lash serums out there. I'm not saying this is the only one that works, but I'm telling you, I am super impressed with this. And I also feel like my lower lashes are getting a little bit of length as well. When I put on my mascara, I'm just like literally going for days with the wand. Mm. As I go through all of these products, I want to let you know that I am wearing most of them on my face right now. This is the ColourPop Stick No Filter Foundation. I have been using this for the last couple weeks. My color is Light 54. C. So basically what I like to do is just take a foundation brush, go over the top of the stick a couple times with it, just start working it into my skin. And then to give it a really natural, flawless look, I'll take a damp beauty blender and just lightly pat all of that in so there aren't any brush strokes or anything like that. I love how natural it feels and if you don't want something too dewy and you don't want something too matte, I used this as my concealer as well today. So it's really just sort of a one and done situation. You can also get a darker shade of this and use it as a contour stick and these are $10. That's it. Loving this. Another thing I keep reaching for every single day is my Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Storm. It is just going to give you those sort of like rosy Saint Nicholas cheeks. Kind of realize that's probably not like the best example to use as a selling point, but if you guys haven't gotten on the cloud paint train yet, I'm going to need you to look at your life and look at your choices, okay? If you've watched my other videos about cloud paint, you know that a little bit goes a long way. I literally just rub it all over my finger and then just pat it into the apples of my cheeks. If I have any extra, I will just go ahead and sort of put it on my pout. I might even go as far to say that this is my favorite cloud paint color point blank. Now for powder blush, this is something that I've actually been using for a few years and you are going to be able to tell because when I take the lid off, it completely comes off. That is how well loved this product is. This is NARS Blush in the color Exhibit A. I think a lot of people are really intimidated by this color because it looks really, really pigmented and like you're just gonna have clown cheeks. I run a brush over the product and I kind of just brush off any excess on my arm and then I already have some on so I don't wanna go too hard with this. But just right on the apples of my cheeks where I put that cloud paint, I just sort of really drive that home. This is just good for every skin tone, period. It's a perfect color for darker skin tones because it's actually gonna show up and it's gonna last. NARS, good job. Okay, I am going to be real with you. I have brought this palette up way too much, but it's only because I feel like you can get so much out of it. I'm using it almost every single day. Today I used the more natural colors. Oh my God, this palette is a hot, Mess. Just ignore the mirror, okay? I basically use these two colors as my base today. If I want to run out the door, I'll use those two colors and it just warms up my lid perfectly and I can just call it a day. They blend so well. And then today for a little something extra, I also put a little bit of this color, which is called Just to Kiss on the top. And I just think it's like this kind of snow angel look that I'm kind of obsessed with. I just can't say enough about this. I really think that Dose of Colors outdid themselves with this palette. Now we're gonna move on to lips and I do have quite a few winners in the lip category. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you what I have on my lips right now. This is one of my favorite lip colors from ColourPop. I've mentioned it in another video. This is from Kathleen Light's Zodiac Collection and it's called Scorpio Moon. I just think this color can be so many different things. If you go really hard with it, it can be like a really sort of like brownish mauve color. I of course like to wear it a little bit more light and go ahead and diffuse it on my lips. And it almost is just this perfect sort of pinky mauve. I also just love this formula to this day. This is still one of my favorite lipstick formulas and they're all $7. I don't understand. I don't know if they're gonna keep it around because again, it was a part of a limited edition collection, but Hopefully they will. So I went over that lip color with this Pat McGrath lip gloss. I am obsessed with her Lust Gloss lip glosses. Um, this particular color is called Flesh Fantasy. Even alone, this is just such a gorgeous, perfect natural nude. Oh God, it's so comfortable. It's not sticky. It just makes your lips look so juicy 
and full. Michelle Wong did a great swatch video of the entire line of this lip gloss, so I'm gonna link that below in case you wanna see the other colors. For fun, I'm going to show you this color as well, which literally matches the sweater I'm wearing right now, which is why I didn't choose it for today. Take off as much of my lip as I can, and you'll see this is the Scorpio Moon. You can see it's left like a really lovely tint that I actually can't get off now. This is the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss in the color Paraphernalia. Oh my god. I mean, I guess I could have worn this and been just super monochromatic. I also love the applicator. It is a doe foot applicator and it's kind of tipped back, which somehow makes it a lot easier to apply. Look at how stunning that is. I have four of these lip glosses and I want the rest of them. I feel like I can apply these without a mirror and it's still going to look flawless. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my lips with something else that I grab for every day. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. This is so perfect for winter, super moisturizing. It's also really nice just to put over a lip stain. As you can see, it gives your lips a little bit of really natural shine. It also tastes like vanilla, which is delicious. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the Powder Kiss Lipstick from MAC. I am so taken with this line. I got Mandarin O and I also got Devoted to Chili, kind of in the same color family as you can see. It almost looks diffused without even having to diffuse it. I'm putting on the Devoted to Chili color. It literally glides on like I'm putting on a lip balm. So this is Mandarin O. I have a feeling this is going to be really pretty with my sweater. It is so light. The color's buildable. It's matte, but it's comfortable. It's not drying. I cannot say enough about these Powder Kiss lipsticks. They're so good. And the last lip product I'm going to show you is something that's getting a lot of hype and I think it is totally worth the hype. This is the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss. This particular color is Dirty Chai. It's made with coffee bean oil, I believe. Bite Beauty is like killing the game. You can see it's just a really beautiful wash of color and I am gonna put it on my lips for you. It just very subtly smells like coffee, which is lovely too. The thing I love about this color is it's kind of like a your lips but better and it really does smell like coffee. It's so yummy. It gives your lips a little bit of warmth, but it's not an overpowering pigment. Mm. You guys, I went to see a movie the other night. I saw Suspiria, have you heard about it? I love the original Suspiria. It was made in the 1970s by an Italian filmmaker. I was so excited for this remake because it's freaking Tilda Swinton. Tilda can do no wrong. If you talk shit about Tilda Swinton, I'ma come for you. Ah, just kidding. I'm all about witchy things. I'm all about ghosty things. I'm willing to give a lot of things a pass. I'm pretty open-minded. This movie was dumb. I'm really, really trying to like Dakota Johnson. But I just can't. Someone please explain the phenomenon of Dakota Johnson to me. She's literally giving me the same character every single time as she gives me in Fifty Shades of Grey and I'm not having it. She's always just like super shy with like no personality and like a little bit of a lisp and vocal fry. And by the end of everything we're supposed to buy that she's like this really dominating woman who knows herself and she's in control. No. 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 I'm sorry, Dakota, but no. Thank you guys so much for watching my current favorites. Also just know that I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not getting any kickbacks. These are products that I just personally feel really passionate about and I just want you to know about them. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please share and like this video. Like I said, after you're done with this video, please go over to Better Off Red's channel. I'm going to link our collaboration below and check that out and subscribe to her because she is one zany, funny lady. I absolutely love her and she needs more play too. Oh, mm, mm. Ew, my glass. What the hell? No, that's disgusting. Mm. Bye.